Hi guys, my name is Mark Piller. Welcome to our third installment of the Back Endless University video series. In this video, I'm going to answer a very important question, which is what is Back Endless? We did talk about uh, the concept of MBAS server in the very first video and how Back Endless is packaged in my previous one. But before we go any further in dissecting the Back Endless technology on our path to learn how to build better mobile apps, I think it is important to really understand what Backendless is. And that's what I'm gonna try to do today. Take a look at this diagram, which is the architecture diagram of the Backendless technology. It is fairly conceptive, and though it is a high-level diagram. So if I were to spend my time today dissecting this diagram, we'll be spending way more than five minutes, which is what I plan to spend today. So uh, rather than this, let's take a look at a more simplified version that will help us to get the answer for the question of what is Backendless. I'd like to think about our technology as a container, container of services. And uh, nothing would represent a container better than a box. And that's what I'm going to put right here. It is Backendless. And we do have some built-in services. Okay, and these services are uh, included into the backendless distribution, and these services are really just the foundation services that uh, are required pretty much by any application. Uh, this service, for example, we're going to call it user service. It works with collection of users. Okay, whenever users register and they need to log in or do password recovery and so on. So this is the user service. Then we have the dot data service that works with persistence data in the database. So here's your database. We do have files service that works with the collection of files. Someone uploads a file, someone needs to get a listing of the files from a directory and so on. So these are the files. Now we have a geolocation service and that one works with, here's my kind of primitive marker. Uh, I'm not a good artist, but this is, this is a marker. And uh, the geolocation can uh, manage and work with geo points, and we'll talk about it later. And then finally, we have a messaging service. A messaging service works with messages. So here's my kind of a little chat bubble, uh, which could be a push notification message or a publish subscribe message. So these are the services which are exposed to the outside world as APIs. And we talk about it, right? So backendless, in the most trivial form, when someone asks what it is, it is, a, it is a container of services. Now, these are the built-in services. And what makes uh, backendless different is that, as a container, it can accommodate not just the built-in services, but also user-defined services. And here, I'm going to pick a different color and put a different service here. And I'm going to say it's user-defined service okay and that's what makes backendless conceptually very different from many other solutions out there and these service that is that you develop or your your application developers develop once it is put into backendless is also going to be represented by the api and the cool thing about it is the api for your services will be generated completely automatically by backendless and on top of this you can manage those apis you can secure and you can uh, distribute these services through backendless platform through the marketplace and we'll talk about it later. So in the most uh, trivial form, when someone asks what is backendless, my answer is it's the API services platform. So this is really a platform that contains API and a bunch of services. So API services platform is my answer to the question of what is backendless. I hope you found it useful. Stay tuned until the next video.